Hey guys, it's Sam and I am going to be doing an impromptu haul video. I wasn't planning on it, but I felt like I had enough stuff to share with you. And unfortunately for some of you who are into makeup, this is not going to be makeup stuff, but it will be kind of beauty related. And I just have not really been into, well, I don't want to say into makeup because I do still love makeup, but just other things have been on my mind. Uh, I've been really into decluttering. If you haven't noticed, I've put up a few videos here and there, makeup and non-makeup related, and I just, I'm going to continue to go with it until I stop feeling like decluttering because it doesn't hit me that often. Well, I always like to clean, but um, it doesn't hit hit me to like just go through all the things that I have and if you're having trouble jump starting you want to declutter but you're having trouble jump starting it I would suggest you do it's somewhat like I'm doing it I am just going through uh well I'm starting with my clothes first but I'm going just through uh specific groups at a time like first I did dresses and then next I'm doing shirts and then I think after that I'll probably do jeans uh but not just everything all at once I think that just gets to be too overwhelming so that's what I would suggest so I've been really uh, on uh, this decluttering thing and then uh, I just haven't yeah I just haven't really bought any makeup since the last haul that I did and I've been uh, kind of unhappy with my uh, the, this is the products that I'm using up and it's just really hard to um, I mean, it's easy and it's hard to use the same products over and over again. I really want to use other things in my makeup drawer. And I feel like I'm like, oh, you have to finish this these products up so you have to use these only. So I think after this product, products that I'm trying to use up, I'll take a break for a little bit in just using specific products because I do want to share the love and use uh, other things in my makeup drawer. And yeah, I've just been on this kind of unspoken no-buy, which I am really... Uh, I'm kind of happy because I feel like I'm not bringing more stuff into my makeup area. Uh, but with saying that, I'm bringing other skincare products and things like that into this room. So um, maybe I'll be starting with a new obsession here, which is not a good thing. I'm really not. But uh, the first thing I'm going to do, show you, the first thing I'm going to share with you is this box from Lush. My friend gave me this gift box and it is, it was for my birthday. And I didn't expect it, so I was really, really uh, happy, happily surprised. And it's the Lush Hello Gorgeous, uh, I would say, gift box. And Lush is a company that I think they're what they stand for is great. Their products are really nice. I've gotten a few things. But the price is what keeps me from like uh, not going there uh, a lot. And... Um, it's not a place that, let's say, I see it at a mall. I'm not like, let's go in like Sephora for some reason, even though they're probably the same price-wise. Um, it's just, I don't know, I feel like Lush is really, really expensive, so I don't buy it for myself, but I was really excited to get it from my friend. Uh, so, I, and I love that it tells you who made it. I think that's really cool. So this gift box was lovingly packed by Amy's team. Uh, so let me show you. It says what's in my gift so they tell you what's in here and I have to tell you I was so excited about this box because there's a few things in here that I've always wanted to try and one of them oh at first I forgot to totally mention this box is gorgeous I love boxes like this and I will definitely be keeping this okay so let me get all these packing corn out so the the first thing I'm gonna share with you is the the Sakura Bath Bomb, and I just think this is gorgeous, and you guys have to let me know if there's any Lush uh, fans out there, or Lush uh, experts, uh, how can you break this up? I'm assuming it's just like easy, you can break it up, but I don't know. Uh, smells really good, and I'm excited. I have never had a bath, a bath bomb from there, and that's one of the most things that people talk about. Uh, here is the Comforter Bubble Bar. This smells good too. It's so pretty, this stuff. Uh, then, Tender is the Night Massage Bar. Sorry, I'm just smelling everything. It just, uh, uh, it's, I would say there's kind of like, it's an earthy floral scent. I hope that makes sense. Everything in here smells kind of earthy. 
Uh, so there's that. And then uh, here is the Rub 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 Shower Scrub. So it looks like this. And it looks so weird. It looks kind of like a, I want to say a Slurpee or something. And then we have two small. So this is the Lemony Flutter Cuticle Butter, which is really cool because I was just... If you watched my declutter on the toiletry uh, things that I was trying to get rid of, this was one of the products that I wasn't sure. And that one's probably old, so I could just replace it with this. So I got that. And then here is the Gorgeous Facial Moisturizer. Mm, that smells good. So yeah, I was really excited to receive this uh, Lush box. And that the friend who gave it to me, she's moving to... Uh, Georgia, Hotlanta, uh, and uh, I've seen her a couple times before she goes. She's one of my best friends, so uh, I will miss her a lot, but I'm sure I'm going to visit her when I uh, when she is in Atlanta. And then the other thing is a Mimi box, and I actually did a whole separate video on this Mimi box because I had ordered two boxes. Uh, this is going to be the Misha box, which when I read that they were coming out with a Misha box, I was really excited. I they probably come out with other Misha boxes, but uh, this is the first one. And it wasn't makeup stuff. It was all skincare. Uh, and so I did a separate video on it. And it the second box was so... I don't want to say it was bad because I'm sure somebody would have liked it somewhere out there. Uh, but it was just such a weird random arrangement of products. I just didn't know what to do with it. And I felt like they were just... I I know sometimes surprise boxes or mystery boxes tend to be things that they're trying to get rid of, but the first, I had ordered a mystery box and I kind of liked it, uh, so I thought I'll take a gamble on this one, but it just wasn't, it wasn't good, so I, um, I returned it and... I don't know, I was just uh, really disappointed with their customer service this time around. And um, I'm if you have been watching me for any amount, amount of time, uh, actually, it can't be any amount because then you won't know what I'm talking about. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that customer service is a big thing. That's why I don't really order from e.l.f. I feel like the customer service is terrible. Um, I do order once in a while when they're having like 50% off, but that's really the only time I try to get their products from Target or, um, now several other places are selling that stuff. So anyway, um, I returned the box. Uh, it was fairly simple to do and I probably won't be getting any more mystery or surprise boxes because that one was just, I want to say it was like wacky it was just a weird box and didn't really make much sense okay so for this box though i was really happy with this box and thought it was great uh let me start with let's see so they always give you uh well not always sorry the surprise of mystery boxes that's another thing um I guess because not everybody gets the same thing, possibly, they don't give you a card like this. Anyway, so this is the Misha box. It says, Misha is a big player in the Korean cosmetics industry, and they've been a part of Miu box for as long as we can remember. We've combined new and best-selling products to create a Misha-only box. And there's all the products in here are full size, and it was just fantastic. I just thought, like, I'm really excited to use this box. Uh, and let me sit up straight. I don't know. I always end up <laughs> sliding down when I do this video. So the first thing here, you know what? Let me do it in the order that they have it. Sorry. Not prepared. I'm always thinking like whenever I do these videos because I feel like I have such a hard time. Uh, that's why there's so many edits. Uh, maybe I'm not meant to do YouTube, but... I think the problem is like I'm trying to be something else, so I'm just gonna try to do talk to you guys like I would talk to a friend. Okay, uh, so he, the first thing is the Super Aqua Double Enzyme Oxygen Mask, and this is full size twenty dollars, and I love the packaging on here. I think it's really pretty, and you gotta. It looks like. <laughs> It looks kind of like a vegetable dip. I don't know. Um, so that looks really interesting and I'm actually excited to try it. It looks like it's going to be just 
I don't know, a, a fun product to try. And then next is the Misha. Well, everything is Misha here, right? Uh, the Procure Sebum Control Scalp and Hair Pack. I'm really excited. I've been, I'm kind of like looking, I've been looking for new, newer hair products since I did cut my hair. And I'm loving this hairstyle. It's a little bit getting used to because I haven't had short hair for a little bit now and uh, I'm like always trying to pull it back but of course it's not long enough really to make a decent ponytail um but I really like it this is I did straighten it a little bit before the video but this is how it looks when I air dry it and it's a perfect lazy girl's haircut uh so back to this this look at how they spell scalp scalp sorry uh but i'm really interested in trying this and we'll be using it in my next shower uh it says it'll take care of oily scalps perfect because i have an oily scalp I'm so excited by an oily scalp uh, uh it says balance ensuring a balance of moisture and controlling oil produ production to soothe itching and this might be too much information for some people but i my scalp is really itchy i don't think it's dandruff um, I've always had problems with my scalp, so hopefully this might help it out. Uh, next is the Misha. <sighs> you guys know it's Misha. Uh, it's the Bardo Absolute Body Scrub. And it looks like this. And very sexy packaging, I must say. Uh, get healthy and glowing skin with a sweet wine-scented body scrub. Let's see. Oh, it's sealed, but I guess I can open it. Not really getting the wine scent, but maybe I have to use it all over my body. Uh, do you wash it? Oh, during a shower or bath, apply appropriate amount and gently massage into skin. So, really cool. And I, I have my own coconut scrub that I made, coconut oil scrub that I made with sugar. But it's going to be nice to have an actual body scrub. Uh, well, the other thing is a body scrub too, but you know, something uh, from Misha. Uh, then we have the Procure Extra Volume Hair Serum. And where is it? Oh, so it looks like this. Again, nice packaging. Intensive nursing serum to make hair elastic. For a healthy, shiny, voluminous hair, this is the serum for you. Whether your hair has been perm colored, blow dried, or UV damaged, this complex will nourish and revitalize your hair. Oh, very cool. It says, after shampooing, towel dry and apply an appropriate amount into the ends of damp hair and massage in. Okay. So, I've been really liking oils. I think serums are probably very similar. So, I'm excited to try this. And very nice pump. Okay. Uh, then, here is the In Shower Comfort Hair Removal for Sensitive Skin. This is funny. I'm smiling because I'm trying to get rid of this type of product. This is probably the only product that I was a little bit disappointed in, but not really. Uh, so, okay, in my the clutter video where I did my toiletries that I'm getting rid of, or and these two products were uh, something that I wasn't sure if I'm gonna use. And there's they're the in shower hair remover too. So um, I might just dump these now and use this one because those are kind of old. Uh, but it says in shower comfort hair removal cream for sensitive skin and then this is what i think you use to scrub it off it says this quick and effective hair removal cream contains softening oil to soften hair uh it's blah blah, blah. it's speedy enough for sensitive skin ar aromatic rinsable in the shower and treats dry or irritated skin so that's probably the product that I was least interested in but everything else I thought was really cool I forgot exactly how much how much I paid for this box it might have been like 30 something dollars but I feel like you already with the first two things you already got the box uh paid for so I am really excited about this box and can't wait to start using it I have struggle to use the other Mimi boxes that I've gotten just because um, I get a lot of skincare from Mimi box and um, it's a lot of cleansers and uh, face mask and I don't use that stuff well I use a cleanser every day but um, it takes a while to use up so um, I think I'll take a break from Mimi box for a while uh, try to use up a lot of the products and then do a Mimi box review and I think that's 
it yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this kind of impromptu haul i am not uh <laughs> sorry i am not gonna stop buying makeup but it's just not something that's been on the forefront of my mind so hopefully you guys will stick around i uh, am kind of things are picking up in other areas of my life so um, I know it's so funny because I know I said I won't, I'm probably going to stop making Tuesday videos. And right after I said that, I had, um, I don't want to say I had, well, I had like just a lot of inspiration and I was just really excited to film videos for you guys. So let me know what other videos you want to see from me. I hope you guys are all doing well and I'll talk to you soon.